In today's episode, the acrylic painting Scarlet in the Study will be completed, photographed, and digitally edited. I'm also going to test my printer's ability to print out the silk screen plates. Hello and welcome. My name's Diet, and thanks for checking out my channel. Let's get started by adding some extra texture to this background. I'm using white and black acrylic paint and mixing in cornstarch with some water to thicken up the paint. I'm trying to create a plaster light texture. I'm using my palette knife to mix thoroughly and consistent. I probably went a little overboard with the paint mixing, but this is one of my favorite steps. So I got a little lost enjoying the moment. Obviously I sped that footage up, but that um, texture layer took about an hour and a half to complete. I wanted to let this dry a few hours overnight before continuing to paint the full background a solid mid-tone. I'm not overly thrilled with how this textured layer has turned out. I'm going to continue pressing forward though because this texture is not going to appear in my final printout anyhow.
As you may have noticed, I did end up uh, changing the leg position back to what it was in the very first um, composition that I had marked out. This time it has just a, a few more adjustments that I made to it and I think it looks a lot better. While the base layer or the, um, the underpainting had this really dramatic highlight, it was just there really for, just for placement so I knew where my highlights were going. Um, this next layer is more to to render that out, render out the lighting, to kind of bake it into um, like the highlights and the lighting across the cat's fur. Now that the painting is complete, I need to get this into a digital format using my DSLR. I'm going to take a raw photograph, uh, so rather than a, a .jpg, Working with the raw file type gives a whole new subset of tweaking options that I can manipulate the final image in Photoshop. The first few steps are to try and adjust the color settings so that the image on the screen reflects what I actually see standing in person. So I am playing around with the raw color settings and the contrasts. The painting is also photographed on a slight angle. So I'm going to correct this by using the transform distort option and straightening out the image. I also want to crop out the background completely. In this case, I'm only going to be painting the cat and its toy. I'm leaving the white of the paper to serve as the background. I added a mask to my layer so that I could crop this out and make further adjustments later if I need to add or subtract from the image. I still have the option to do that. Once I separated the cat from the background itself in Photoshop and blanked out the background, it became clear how um, much more blue the image was than I really expected it to be. So um, from there, I readjust the colors a little bit more to get it again close to the final outcome that I have envisioned for this piece.
final it is time to separate this out and put it out onto four different plates so that I can work on the screen printing of this. Black, white, red, and green. There are several methods to accomplish separating these layers out in Photoshop. Um, I just, I went onto YouTube just to check out kind of what the majority of people are doing what's sort of the more popular methods of doing this and um, so I just followed that advice and used the color range tool to select and uh, create each layer which I then filled in uh, with black afterwards. From Amazon I purchased inkjet printable transparency paper which was eight and a half by eleven it should work with my particular printer because I'm using four different plates I'm also wanting to put um, to print out all of the registration marks as well so that it's easier for me to line it up I spent too much time figuring out how to piece all of these together so that I could do it all in one sheet and then cut them out to size afterward. As um, you can imagine, there are several trial and errors that I went through throughout this entire process. The first issue I hit was within the transparencies that I was using. I discovered that there is a right and a wrong side to the transparencies, which, which you can feel texturally. One side is super glossy, while the other side has a, just a slight grit to it um, that the ink sticks to. So if you're printing it on the glossy side, it rubs off like a smudge, like it's nothing. Um, and even after printing it on the correct side, several of my plates did smudge while I was working with them. So I, it did become apparent that I needed to give them about, about two to three hours of drying time. I'm sure that the humidity in here in midsummer is um, also contributing to how long it takes for this stuff to, to dry properly.
so here it is. Everything is ready to um, try printing out my first run of silk screen prints from my home studio. In my next video, I'm going to go through my entire setup and begin that first run of, um, you know, trying out silk screening from home. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy and or leave a comment and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.